On April 12, 1961, humanity hit an incredible milestone when Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin became the first human to travel to space. Aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft, Gagarin completed one orbit around Earth in a flight that lasted 108 minutes. This event marked the beginning of the era of manned space exploration and is shrouded in a series of mysteries and controversies that continue to captivate us today. Yuri Gagarin was chosen from a group of highly trained cosmonauts who were all vying to be the first to travel to space. At 27 years old, Gagarin stood out not just for his skills, but for his charisma and ability to handle public pressure. The Soviets were looking for more than just a competent astronaut. They wanted a hero who could inspire and represent the nation on the global stage. Gagarin fit the bill perfectly, becoming an iconic figure. But the selection process wasn't transparent and was full of mystery. We know the original group of cosmonauts included other talented pilots like German Titov, who would later become the second man to orbit Earth. Some speculate that Gagarin was picked not just for his skills, but also for his image, which was perfect for Soviet propaganda. There are whispers that Gagarin underwent extreme physical and mental tests, the details of which were never fully disclosed to the public. The Vostok 1 launch took place at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. At 9.07 a.m. local time, the rocket successfully blasted off, carrying Gagarin into space. During the flight, Gagarin famously exclaimed, Hoya Kali! Let's go! The mission went smoothly, and Gagarin completed one orbit around the Earth. One of the debated aspects of the flight is its exact duration. Officially, the flight lasted 108 minutes, but some speculate that this could have been tweaked for propaganda purposes. The Soviet Union was eager to showcase its superiority in the space race against the United States, and any detail that could enhance the public perception of their success might have been manipulated. Moreover, some flight documents and records have disappeared or were never released, adding to the theories of possible cover-ups. Re-entering Earth's atmosphere was another critical moment of the flight. According to the official version, Gagarin ejected from the capsule at about 7,000 meters altitude and landed separately by parachute. However, for many years, the Soviet Union claimed that Gagarin had landed inside the capsule to comply with the International Aeronautical Federation's rules, which required the pilot to land with the spacecraft for the flight to be considered legitimate. The truth about the landing came out later, and the FAI officially recognized Gagarin's flight, despite this detail. However, the initial confusion fueled speculations and theories about other aspects that might have been hidden or altered. Some reports suggest there were technical problems during re-entry that endangered Gagarin's life, and these issues were downplayed or omitted in official accounts. Gagarin's communications during the flight were closely monitored. Official records show Gagarin as calm and professional, but some reports hint that he might have expressed surprise or concern at key moments, especially when the spacecraft behaved unexpectedly. Although these details were never officially confirmed, they add to the mystery and fascination surrounding his flight. For instance, there are rumors that in one of his early communications with Mission Control, Gagarin mentioned seeing something strange outside the window of the spacecraft, something he couldn't identify. Yuri Gagarin died on March 27, 1968, in an accident during a training flight in a MiG-15 UTI jet. The circumstances of his death have been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories. The official version claims the accident was caused by a sudden maneuver to avoid a weather balloon. However, other theories suggest the possibility of pilot error, mechanical failure, or even deliberate sabotage. Some believe Gagarin might have been killed because he knew too much about the Soviet space program's secrets or because he had become critical of the government. These theories are fueled by the fact that the official investigation into his death 
was shrouded in secrecy for many years, and many documents related to the accident were never made public. The Soviet era was marked by a high degree of secrecy and propaganda, especially in the context of the Cold War and the space race. The lack of transparency in many aspects of the Soviet space program has led to numerous speculations about what details were hidden or manipulated. From the duration of Gagarin's flight to the details of his landing and the circumstances of his death, the story is full of gaps and unanswered questions. The Soviet Union was determined to demonstrate its technological and scientific superiority, and Gagarin's success was a huge propaganda victory. However, the desire to control the narrative and project an image of infallibility led to many cover-ups and distortions of the truth. For instance, several failed rocket launches and fatal accidents were kept secret from the public and only came to light years later, sometimes only after the fall of the Soviet Union. Despite the mysteries and controversies, Yuri Gagarin's flight remains a monumental milestone in the history of space exploration. His bravery and the success of his mission paved the way for future expeditions and marked the beginning of a new era for humanity. Gagarin's figure and his historic flight continue to inspire generations of astronauts and space enthusiasts around the world. And that's the fascinating story of Yuri Gagarin's first space flight and the mysteries surrounding it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more captivating tales from history. See you next time.